It is widely believed that sustainable green or lead buildings are on the verge of entering the mainstream of construction. Contractors and subcontractors end up playing a major role on these projects, which greatly increases their responsibility for project management and documentation. I talked with Dr. Matt Seil from Michigan State University about his project to enable electrical contractors to become value-added team members with general contractors, owners, and designers on LEED projects. Matt, can you tell us what LEED stands for? LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, which is a product rolled out by United States Green Building Council. LEED was really introduced in 1998. Since then, the whole aspects of LEED building has grown tremendously. The way society is looking at global warming, gas prices, the whole thing, the concept of sustainable or green buildings, I believe has gone beyond the fad stage and it's really entered the mainstream of society. So why is it important for contractors and, and subcontractors to understand LEED projects? First of all, why it is important, it's a very simple answer. The owner wants a building of certain kind, sustainable building, which meets certain criteria. The designer designs it, but eventually the hot potato is thrown in the contractor's lap, say go build it, right? <laughs> and if I'm the general contractor, I will take part of the hot potatoes and throw it in the electrical contractor, mechanical contractor in their labs and say, understand this and do it for me, right? Right, right. So they all have to understand because they are the ones who are going to build it. Tell me exactly what value added projects. Concept is simple. If the owner wants a certain building and they give it and the designer designs it and they want people to work on it or general contractor wants subcontractors to work on it, if it's a special kind of requirements, who will they look for? They will look for someone who already is up and running with this thing. And if I have choice between two subcontractors, two electrical contractors, they both have equal price, they both have same capability, technical capability, but you understand the lead requirements a lot more. You are very much preferred and value added for me, right? In some cases, you'll get a lot of preference also. And 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 if I bring you on the team, you make me look good. Okay. So that's the whole idea. What is your vision for the lead projects in the future? Where do you want to see it grow? Well, I think the electrical contractors, if they become lead savvy, I think they can really take advantage of this competitive industry, help them with their profitability. And more than that, they can really develop a successful niche in this emerging sector. And what do you think is the fastest way to reach electrical contractors? Education. The outputs we develop, the electrical contractors, their management institute should develop a series of in-person seminars, a series of web seminars, and those kind of things. That's the only way. You have to educate people. It's not something you can give them one page and they can do it. So you have to really go through that continuing education.